Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most a furry creature. Draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Zombies. To make Leroy's perfect paper plane, this is what you need. Paper, pens to decorate. And a glue stick? Oh, uh, we don't need oh. any glue. All right. Sorry. There we go. Make sure you've got all that. Right, first fold the paper like this. And then, like this. And do the same on the other side. Fold the triangle down like this on both sides. You want the front to be a point to cut through the air. Now take the bottom tip of your paper and fold it up like this. And you guessed it, the same again on the other side. One last fold on each wing. Turn your plane over like this and gently spread its wings. Now here's my top paper plane tip. Make a little cut in the fold of the back and push it up like that. Now it looks like a little diamond from the back. That gives it a bit of back lift and will make your paper plane fly really straight. Now just add some cool decorations. Let's make our very own pita pizza. You will need clean hands, a pita bread, some tomato puree, plenty of grated cheese, and some tasty herbs. And a glue stick? We're making food. We definitely don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Sorry. OK, got all of that? Fantastic. Let's get making. Take your pita and squeeze on the tomato puree. Then spread it around like this. Add plenty of grated cheese and then sprinkle on your tasty herbs. Pop it in the oven until the cheese has gone all melty. Remember, have an adult help you when cooking. And there you go. Now you know how to make your own pizza, you can put on whatever toppings you like. Delicious. Welcome to my British show. Let's make a shaker. You will need a cardboard tube, two pieces of coloured paper, sticky tape, two paint brushes, a pen, some colourful paint, scissors. Be careful with scissors. And some dry rice. Yep, I said rice. And a glue stick. Sorry, we don't need a glue oh. stick. Got all that? Here we go. Let's get making. Take the cardboard tube, cut it in half and paint one half like this. Stand your tube on the coloured paper and trace a circle wider than the tube so that when you cut it out, there's a bit hanging over like this. Then stick that down with your tape. Now, here comes the rice. Cut another circle for the other end of your tube and tape that on to hold in the rice. Now you can doodle on a pattern and you have your shaker. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Have fun with lots of different colours and patterns. Welcome to my brilliant show. Let's make our very own rosette. You will need two sheets of coloured paper one sheet of white paper, some string, some PVA glue, sticky tape, scissors. Be careful with scissors. Coloured pens. And the glue stick? Yeah, and the glue stick. What? You want one? Yeah. <laughs> OK. Right, got all that? Fantastic. Let's get making. 
take a sheet of coloured paper and cut about a third of it lengthways, like this. Set this bit aside for later. Now fold about a centimetre from the bottom forwards, then fold it backwards. And keep folding forwards and backwards all the way up the paper. When you unfold it, it should look like this. Do the same with the other piece of coloured paper. Now you've got two crinkly strips. Pinch and fold in the middle. Hold them together like this. And tie them up with string. Cut off any extra string. Be careful with scissors. And use the glue stick to glue the inner edges of the bows together to make the circle. Now take your extra strip of paper and cut it down the middle like this. Then cut out two triangles at the bottom of each strip to make the ribbons. Fix them to the back of the rosette with some sticky tape like this. Take your white piece of paper, draw a circle and design for the centre of your rosette. Cut it out. Use a large blob of glue in the centre to fix it to the front. Perfect. You have your very own rosette. You can make your rosette with any colour or patterns that you like. Welcome to the Library Show! It's the Make a Fish game. You all need some paper, a pencil, some felt tip pens, lots of colours, some scissors. Be careful with scissors! That's a very good point. And some drinking straws. Make sure they're ones you can recycle. Think of the real fish, guys. And some sticky tape. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Awkward. Fantastic. Let's get making. In the bottom half of your paper, draw a really simple fish like this. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to give it an eye, like this. Hello. Cut the paper in half. Be careful with scissors. Yes, yes, good point. We will. Then trace over your first fish on the other half of your paper. Whoa. I know it's cool, isn't it? Skill. Right, so now it's time to get colourful. Sketch a pattern on your fish and don't worry about going over the lines. Trust me, you'll see why. Then colour away with your pens. Mmm, minty green. Lemon yellow. You can do any pattern or colours you like. Just dive in. Make a splash. Then simply cut them out. See? Told you not to worry about going over the lines. Aren't they fantastic? Fold the tails up and back down like this. Take another piece of paper and draw a watery finish line. Tape it down on a floor or table. Each player gets a straw and the winner is the first to blow their fish over the finish line. You can make as many fish as you have friends so everyone can play. 